This is how to make cello, which is Persian rice. Salam. My name is Cameron, and welcome to Persian Cooking 101. Hi, I'm Kim Akavan, and I'm representing Iran, where Persian cooking comes from. Today, we're going to learn to make cello, which is fluffy steamed Persian rice with everybody's favorite part, the taddy. You will need three cups of long grain basmati rice, eight cups of water, two tablespoons of salt, one fourth cup of olive oil, three fourths cups of salted butter, and one teaspoon of saffron and four tablespoons of water. Cameron's washing the rice. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna agitate the rice with his hands, and then he's gonna strain out the milky liquid, and he's gonna keep doing that about five times until the water in the rice runs clear. Okay, we're getting started. We're gonna put our eight cups of water and our two tablespoons of salt into the pot and bring it to a roaring boil. My water is boiling. I'm gonna add the rice, but oddly enough, this is the most crucial step. I'm gonna set the timer for six minutes. When that six minutes is up, I'm gonna try the rice and bite it and make sure that it's perfectly al dente because it's gonna to continue to cook in our next phase when we return the rice to the pot. It's time for me to do my bite test. Sure enough, it's done. So now, Cameron's gonna follow me to the strainer. And I'm gonna give this rice a very quick rinse just for a couple seconds, not too much, or I'm gonna wash all the salt off my rice, which I don't wanna do. So first we're gonna turn on our stove to medium, maybe even medium high, depending how big your flame is at home. We're gonna add in our olive oil, and we're gonna let it get pretty hot just by itself. Now that that's hot, you can hear it, I'm gonna add probably about two thirds of the butter. I'm gonna reserve a little bit for later in the cooking process. And even just a spoonful of the saffron water. I'm gonna let that get nice and hot. Now it's time to add the rice, but I'm not gonna flip it all in there at once. I have to do it a spoonful at a time and kind of shake it over the bottom, like so. Now I'm gonna let this tadig part form for a little bit before I add more rice. I want it to really get crunchy and just kind of fry in that butter and oil before I add any more. With the remaining rice, I'm gonna keep adding spoonfuls, but now I'm gonna add them to the center to form kind of a pyramid. Okay, my pyramid's ready. Now all I have to do is poke two to four holes with the end of a wooden spoon. We'll need those later and I'm going to cover it up and cook it for 10 to 15 minutes, still on medium heat. Okay, so now I'm gonna add into the holes the remaining butter, kind of pour some over the top, and I'm also gonna add the remaining saffron water. But here comes an unusual part. I'm gonna cover the whole pot with a dish towel, making sure not to catch it on fire. I'm gonna fold the sides over the edge like this, reduce my heat to low, and set my timer for 50, five zero minutes. 50 minutes is up. I've taken the rice off the burner and put it on a wet towel where I have to leave it for five minutes so that the tadi will detach. Okay. It's time for the moment of truth. I'm gonna take the lid off. I'm gonna take my serving platter, put it on top of my pot, hold on to the sides, and I'm gonna invert the whole thing and listen for the shunk of success. Okay, time for the big reveal. Okay, not bad, not bad. We have lots of crunchy tadig on top of our buttery rice. This dandelion is delicious, too. Mmm.